here yesterday working on this little garden. Me and the wife is coming along. Okay, before I start, shout out to three-star quarterback Christopher Martin, who gave a verbal commitment to Alcorn State. He got FBS offers, says he likes the coaching staff at Alcorn State. And as of right now, he's locked into Alcorn State. I just hope he keeps his commitment and signs on the dotted line come December. We'll, we'll see what happens in December. When you're 16 and 17 years old, you change your mind as many times as you change your sneakers or your Jordans or your Yeezys. So I'm going to see what happens with him in December. Hope he does sign with Alcorn State. What's good, y'all? What's going on in this corner sports that Now, I see that Travis Hunter, they got him ranked as the eighth best DB in the Pac-12. Hmm. The eighth best DB in the Pac-12. Eighth? Oh, I get it. He played at Jackson State. He played in the SWAC. So, these sports writers or coaches, whoever make these rankings, are like, he ain't play against anybody. A swack? That's FCS. Black college football? Oh, they don't think much of black college football. He's like, look at his opponents. Of course he was going to do that. He's a five-star DB. One of the best players coming out of high school. But it's, here's the thing. He wasn't even hurt, and he was a real good DB in the swack and a good wide receiver. And he's learning under Deion Sanders. Now, I think it's safe to say if Travis plays 12 games in the Pac-12, he'll go from the number 8 DB to, like, number maybe 3 or 2. He has that kind of talent. And Deion Sanders is like, look, he's better than me at this stage of his career. So Travis know what he got to do. He got to stay healthy. He got to ball out. He got to get it the hard way. You come from HBCU, you know you got to earn everything. Nothing is given to you. Nothing. So this is no big deal. Travis, uh, show and prove. Let's revisit this at the end of the season. I'm sure he'll go from eight to like two, maybe even one. Okay, in other Colorado news, Deion Sanders signs back with Nike. Uh, that, that just makes sense. Colorado is a Nike-sponsored school. Colorado's been with Nike since 1995. So at the end of the day's business, this was really a no-brainer. Now Prime said he didn't feel appreciated at Nike, so he's rocking Under Armour from, what, 2011 until now. So they kissed and made up, probably threw Prime a little bit more money. And money wins at the end of the day. But, yeah, I expect Trap. I wanted to be one of the most productive players in the Pac-12 and exciting players in the Pac-12 in the 2023 season. So look, I'm going to let y'all later. It's Corner Sports Net.